Hey, how's it going everyone? So this is the final video of this series. And if you have made it this far, I'm extremely proud of you for sticking along with me. So we have covered quite a lot here and hope you learned some valuable things out of this series. So let's do a quick review of what we have covered so far and make sure to stick till the end of this video as I will go over when you should consider using Selenium with Python framework over using any other frameworks that are out there. So we started off with that introduction where we learned about Selenium based framework which as you guys know is a web automation framework built with Python, PyTest and WebDriver. And then we also looked into some of the advantages of using Selenium based framework. So after our introduction to Selenium based, we installed all the necessary packages and dependencies required to get Selenium based working with our local project. And then we wrote our first test using Selenium based and Python. After that, we deep dived into the APIs of Selenium base and looked into the different features that it offers us. We also covered how to work with various elements and looked into setup and teardown method for optimizing our framework. So from there, we moved on to building our test framework. We began with learning page object model and how to implement page object model within our test. Then we also learned how we can stabilize our framework by learning different weight methods that are available to us. From there, we learned about error handling, reading logs, and taking screenshot on test failures, and then generating test report from all of that. Finally, we moved on to learning different ways on how we can run our test. We looked into cross-browser testing and parallel testing to speed up our test execution time. And at the end, we integrated all of that with GitHub and Jenkins and generated a report in JUnit. So once again, guys, there's a lot that we covered here. And honestly, if you were able to get through all of these videos, then you will easily be able to crack through the interviews by explaining all the concepts that we have covered here and also get a job as a Python Selenium automation engineer. Now let's talk about when you should use Selenium base and when you probably shouldn't. So the answer is simple. If you have resources within the team that already knows Python, such as your QA team members or the development team members, or let's say if Python is one of your primary languages within the team and majority of you guys are comfortable using it, then I would highly recommend for you guys to go in with the Selenium based framework. It will most likely be the perfect fit for you all if you are looking into the Selenium framework. Now I don't want you to pick the framework just because you know how to use it. Let's say you have watched the entire series, you know how to use Selenium base, but that's not the only reason I want you to pick this framework. The best way you can build a stable framework is by involving as many members of your team as possible. Now the opposite of this is if none of the team members knows Python or no one in their company uses Python when building their projects, then that's your cue to go with some other languages or framework. It's as simple as that. So hope this helps you out. If you have any specific question to this series or this video, let me know in the comments below. That's all for this video guys. If you enjoyed this video, remember to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this and don't forget to hit that bell icon. Thanks for watching guys. I will see you all in the next one.